Okay, we're going to talk about the verse first, first, and then we can talk about the chorus. Because they're, excuse me, we're going to talk about the chorus, and then we're going to talk about the verse, because they're both pretty different styles. Um, and But, you know, they go together, because this is sort of the sound people are working with nowadays, right? Um, okay. Uh, yeah. It's repeat, 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 repeat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what I found myself more pushing myself more towards is, like, um... Is an actual rap song. So yeah. this is just like an idea I started with. So I'm running my my brain's pushing me to go different places, pretty much. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, so I'm so I'm still finding that that voice. You know what I mean? That one that that I click with, and then then that's what I'm gonna like. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, and that's what I want to talk about with the verse. So let's do the chorus first, though, because that's a little easier to okay. handle. Um, so okay, because what did you say before? Like, when you were introducing the song, you said something pretty insightful. You were like, you know, because people aren't really uh, talking too much or rhyming that much or rapping that much, right? Is is You said something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Migos, uh, for yeah. example, they are the biggest, the biggest one that don't rap pretty yeah, much. Yeah, and so it's like, you got to think, though, about why... Are they able to not rap that much? You know, like what did they replace it with? What what else is in the music though to make up for that? The fact that they don't rap anymore, you know, and it, it um, the, beat, the beat definitely has something to do with it. For yeah, sure. yeah, it, and so the beat is slower, and what they did is sort of make their uh, raps more melodic, right? So they move their voice up and down a lot more, almost like singing. And with so, the song, right? Yeah. So when the when the instrument like when the instrumental goes up, they raise their voice. Is that yeah, what you're well, saying? yeah. Sometimes it's not really often that direct, but uh, here I'll play you some, and I'm recording this too. Um, so then you can listen to it after. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'm good. yeah. So uh, yeah. Migos, I don't know like super super well. So we're gonna talk about Young Thug because Young Thug's fucking the best. Uh. And I, I like a, I like a couple of his songs like Like Club Gene and uh uh I'm a ride. He yeah. featured Burton. Yeah, well, you will absolutely love him after I'm done with you, man. Uh cuz <laughs> his use of autotune is like awesome. You know, and I'm talking yeah, about it. For real. Yeah, cuz I'm talking about it for his for your verse on Woe. because you your, okay. Your, your chorus, excuse me. Your chorus just needs a little more melody in it. And so, like, I don't know if you really yeah. need auto-tune, but it's more like you got to hit the notes more. And right now, you're yeah, sort of... Right now, you're, like, sort of hinting at them. And I'm not talking about singing, like, duh, duh, duh. You know what I mean? I'm talking about, like, rap singing, right? So, like, yeah. let's listen to some Young Thug to figure out um, uh, what I mean. Uh... All right, so which one has like a? Hey, fuck. Yeah, okay. So this is called F Cancer, and I sent you a playlist of some of this shit. Um, so you can find this all, but okay. this is called F Cancer, uh, by Young Thug. All right, so you might want to like write that down or look it up later. All right, so let's just listen. Right. I, I actually, I've actually heard the song. Uh, like I've heard of it, but I look, I like don't know. Exactly, word for word. So okay, I, yeah. I, I know of the song. Okay, well, we're going to listen to, like, the first verse a few times, and what I want you to pay attention to is how his voice moves up and down, okay? So, just listen okay. to that. Don't listen yep. to his words. Just listen to how his voice moves up and down. Uh, let's go from the start. Okay. 
yeah, so, so that's good. So, yeah, I think you were picking up on it, right? So let's go through this a little bit more bit by bit. <laughs> right? So right there, he's like... And you don't even need to know what he's saying, which is good, because Young Thug really... Right. So, like, um, the way Rock Hims explained it in uh, one of his interviews, he uh, learned, learned um, that same kind of way with... Um, it was John Coltrane. Yeah, exactly. And his like his the way he played the clarinet and trumpet, or I don't think he played the trumpet. He might have, but he like, you know what I mean. He played music so if he could match that same that same rhythm the saxophone had, it was pretty much the same idea. Yeah. It's just in a different context when when you do a yeah, lot of words. Exactly. And so now Young Thug is doing something similar, right? <laughs> You know, that's what the melody is. And so, what you need to start to understand is like the shape of a melody, right? Because melodies have what we call shapes or contours. Uh, and so, there's like an arch one, which basically goes low, high, low. There's an inverted arch, which goes high, low, high. You know, there's like, I don't know what you want to call it, one that just starts low and goes high, like a mountain, one that starts high and goes low, which is like a cliff, I don't know. And so, it obviously, like, that's super general, but it hints at what I'm trying to teach you, which is the shape of a melody. So, right. Young Thug's shape is really well-defined. And he, it's well-defined because he's a good singer, but also from auto-tune, right? Because auto-tune will fit your melody onto this shape, right? It'll literally lock your pitches into this scale, and then your scale's melody will always have a shape. And so right now, you, the shape of your chorus melody is a little, like, wishy-washy. You know, if, if you were going to draw it, it would be, like, a little blurred out. It would be, like, a little smeared... Uh, on the paper, and we need to see it like with a fucking ruler. You know what I mean? Like a l l l like l like a straight edge compass. Uh, all that shit you had to buy for third grade math class or whatever. Okay, so so let's listen yeah. to to your chorus real quick. Right. So it's like. You've got the basic shape, but you're not hitting the corners, is how I would put it, right? So so let yeah. me try and do it for you now. Let, let me take a listen to listen to the chorus. With the yeah, with the smoke. yeah, with the wee wee smoke. You know what uh, I'm saying? Right. Yeah, 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 with yeah. the so wee like right wee smoke. The end, you like it. Yeah, it, it's like you gotta hit it, you know? It's like, you know... Like, okay, imagine you're driving a car at 200 miles per hour, right? When you come to a left turn, let's say you're running from the police or something. When you come to a left turn, you got to fucking slam on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to, like, jerk the wheel all the way to the left. And you can't, like, round into it. You can't drift into it. You got to be absolutely sure about it, you know? And so, like, right now, you're okay. sort of rounding, drifting into it. And it's like... I need, we need, the listeners need you to understand what the shape of the melody is. And it's funny, right? Because you're the one who wrote it, but I'm the one who knows what the shape of the melody is, even though you didn't quite give it those hard, sharp corners I need, you know? So it's like, yeah, with right. the wee wee smoke. So you hear how, like, I went higher than you went high, and I went lower than you went low? Um, that's what I'm talking about, is like, you gotta hit it. Like, you gotta be committed, is what I mean, to the melody. And so, uh, you could even, if you got a piano or a keyboard or a MIDI instrument, you can even pick this shit out with keys, you know? I don't have one right now, or else I would try. Yeah, I don't have one either, unfortunately. Yeah, and even, like, I, um... And, and you know, not all vocal melodies will fit on a piano is sort of the problem. Uh, especially rap. So, it's like, but that's what it is. Alright, so let me keep going. Yeah, with the dopest smoke. You hear that? It's not, yeah, with the dopest smoke. You know, it's like the same melody, but I'm giving it shape. 
right? You're like, yeah, yeah uh, with the wee wee smoke, and I'm like, yeah, with the wee wee smoke, you know, uh, Be yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. you're not talking, you're singing, like you're talking the melody, and I need you to sing the melody, which is like you gotta uh, hit the corners, all right? So let me keep going. Yeah, with the dope smoke. Yeah, we got trees to roll, trees to roll. Yeah. And so it's like that word, yeah, is really important. And this is where contour comes in, okay? Because when you're identifying the shape of a melody, and eventually you'll get so good at this, you don't have to think about it. But it's like you got to think about the most important words. And there will only be like three or four in every sentence, right? And the most important words are the ones that last for a long time, right? So your word, yeah, lasts for like a whole quarter note, right? So it's really important. And to prove, you know, back to that Young Thug song. That last one, duh, is one of the important words, right? So the important words are, like, yeah. they last a long time. They start, the, uh, sorry, they're the first accented pitch, accented pitch or the last accented pitch, okay? So when you're trying to figure out the shape of a melody, you should find the most important words first, which is usually they last a long time, they're the first accented pitch, and they're the last accented pitch, okay? And so, yeah, lasts for a long time. And this is why I can like kind of tell that this is an auto-tune rap that has not had auto-tune applied to it, because auto-tune is what right. gives rap melody. So when you say, yeah... The auto tune would turn that into like a moment, man, like a fucking explosive, brilliant moment. Cause that, cause when you say yeah, like that, you're moving through lots of pitches. So auto tune will track your voice across all of them. You know, you're not saying yeah, yeah, yeah. that's just one pitch. But if you go like yeah, that's many pitches. So let's listen uh, to right. So let's just quick listen to Condo Music by Young Thug. And you'll hear what I mean. Right? So that's like maybe the most beautiful moment in any rap song ever in all of history. Uh, because he... Listen to how he's... Listen to how he... he li well, listen to how he says movie. He doesn't say... I'll shoot at you, you and your girl like a condo, uh, like a porno movie. He doesn't say that. He says, I'll shoot at you and your girl like a porno movie. <laughs> and, and like, like that sort of, hey, is what you got to add into your, is what autotune adds, right? Because if he didn't have autotune, it would just sound like he was saying the word for too long. But because auto-tune adds melody to your word, it'll make it work better. Which is why I think you should add auto-tune and make sure that your yas are really explosive, okay? So now listen to how he says condo music. The word music. You know, and he's... Yeah, stretch you stretch it out. Yeah, and auto-tune helps support that because auto-tune makes it fit to a melody. So now if you put auto-tune on yours, then all of a sudden those yas will make a lot more sense. Because you're even saying them like auto-tune will support it. But the thing is, you yeah. don't have auto-tune on it, you know? And so this is another shape of a melody kind of thing because it would be like... With the dope dopest smoke. smoke. Yeah, with the dopest smoke. Yeah, with the dopest smoke. Yeah, with the dopest smoke. You hear that? Like, there's just more... Musicians call it timbre, which is really like color. So, even though, like, you and me can sing the same note, timbre is the difference between what it sounds like when I say it and what it sounds like when you say it. Or the difference between, like, a violin playing a C and a piano playing a C. You know, like a violin smoother. Yeah, so it has to have that. Yeah, yeah. And so like the uh you we need more timbre. It, it is what Young Thug is really good at cuz he's not even really singing, right? He's like shrieking. Look like call it condo mute. Like listen to how constricted his voice is. He doesn't talk like that. Yeah. 
condo music, right? He's not saying condo music. That sounds lame, you know? And he does this all the time. Like, this is Scared of You. This is a song by him called Scared of You. Darling, your baby, don't hope to see you dressed to impress you the best. You a mess, you make them young hoes stress. You hear that? You a mess, you make them young hoes stress. So it's like he's like constricting his vocal cords and it just adds all this color, this timbre, right? And so that's what autotune right. does and that's what your yaz will do. Like even though yeah is a really small, unimportant word, it's actually hugely important in your music. And the fact that you're not quite emphasizing it on woe means that the listener doesn't understand the melody, okay? And so, like, let's keep going a little bit. Trista roll, Trista roll, Trista roll. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're right now, like, Trista roll, Trista roll. And, like, that's the basic shape, but that doesn't have the corners. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So, okay, I, I sort of just dropped a whole bunch of shit on you. So, like, you got any questions or anything? Um... No, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm learning, I'm understanding. Oh, okay, but, good, good. Um, I get that. The, tam the ta timbre is like, um, so right now I'm at a black and white picture, and now I'm trying to exactly. fill in the extra spots yeah, I Yeah, exactly. You know, I really try to use a lot of, like, visual metaphors as much as possible, because that's a little easier to understand than me just saying, like, I don't know, random shit. But exactly, like, right now we got black and white from you, but we need, like, the fucking color. Like, it's a fucking, I don't know. Like, I don't watch anime, but they use, like, everything in that shit, man. Like, the whole palette. Red, orange, yellow, grew, Roy G. Biv, through the roof, you know? And that's sort of what Autotune does. Um, so, I gotta go soon, but just real quick on your verse. Yo, you know I be heated, yo. Please be higher than the ceiling flow. Yeah, with the we we spirit, yo. Please be. Right, so it's a little something similar, I guess, even though I, I don't want you to put auto-tune on this part, the verse part. Um, right. it, it's just like you still kind of got to find your flow, like the pocket in your voice. You know what I mean? And so yeah. uh, so I'll quick, and you know, everyone, oh, actually, I should send you that. I should send you that. Um, I did this good interview with Jean Grey where she gives a lot of advice on what flow is. Um, and so she says at one point, she, I ask her, you know, Jean Grey, do you know who she is? Um, Jean Grey, why does it sound so familiar? Yeah, she's a, uh, she's a rapper from New York, and to me, she's one of the three greatest rappers of all time. Uh, but I asked her, what is good flow to you? And she says flow is different for each person. Everybody has their own flow. You have to get to know your voice as if it was an instrument know what you can get away with, and how you sound. It's like certain accents, uh, like Southern. Can, can you I show you this? Can, I, uh, can you see or hear, or you might be able to hear it through the, um, yeah. through the thing. Like I, found, I found my flow to the, uh, to the beat. Like that, that one song that I did, that low song, I'm, the three songs that I have on my SoundCloud were just like, like it was more like a practice to okay. see where I could try to, because I, I wasn't pushing myself hard enough if I, yeah. I don't, I wasn't pushing myself if I didn't put out songs, you know what I mean? Yeah. So with people's people's criticism, you know, people are obviously going to give you shit for what you do because people yeah. are scared to move in life, you know. And so um, so basically, I'm um, taking everyone's negative criticism and I'm turning it into positivity, trying to, like, try to shape myself to those ideas and opinions, kind of. Use it as positivity. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. Um, so... When I get, when I, when I, I can, I found my flow, right? I'll show you this freestyle I did. Um, uh, let me go to the first one. All right. So let, tell me if you can hear this or not. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. I got to get closer to the mic. Let me uh, bring it right here. All right. So can you hear me better now? Yeah. All right. So this is the, um, this is the freestyle I did. It's like, uh, it's a little long, but. That's the, uh, it's gonna tap me, dog. I'm gonna move it. Cause she want I'm choosing. Cause I'm not losing. This beat is fire. I got the igniter. 
when I smoke the dabs, I got the fucking lighter. I didn't come with the right tools to smoke it. I'm impotent, cause I'm fully smoking my dope. I want to meet the bosses. I don't give a fuck, cause I'm always flossing my teeth, cause I'm always eating steak. I'm gonna make a mean mixtape. No, I lean straight, leaning back, cause I got the hat shit, never the fucking hell? had it, you don't want that sad day, boys, I'm a decoy of myself, when it came to the rhymes, I wrote it myself, but I'm freestyling right now, I'm fucking wild, you can't talk to me like a motherfucking cop. Yeah, that's the, that's the freestyle. Um, so I'm finding, I'm finding the flow a lot easier, um, to do. Yeah. Uh, like like I said, because I watched your um, video of counting beats, and it goes one, two, three, four, yeah. and I can I can listen to an instrumental, and I can hear it, and um, I can I can try to match like every time the the hi hat hits, every two yeah. and fourth, um, the drum and the hi hat, um, you gotta hit that the word that you're gonna um, it's that that word I don't know it's a certain word you gotta use, and then on the fourth one you gotta you gotta pretty much rhyme it or something yeah. like in that sense in a yeah way. yeah yeah no that's that's the basic idea uh it's just for me the um uh what was i gonna say well well actually i gotta bounce out um so we can pick up there at the next point because like i said i'm late for my other meeting um but but yeah it's still i would still sort of tell you the same stuff on your verses is like you gotta find the pocket of your voice um, so just to give you a, 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 a quick, uh, well, why don't we pick up there? I can talk about that more next time and I can show you, I'll play you some of my old songs where I hadn't found my rapping voice or flow yet. And then I'll find, I'll play you okay. ones I've done more recently that sound a lot better. And then that'll just help you think about it. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So are you able to do the same time next week? Um, yeah, yeah, or yeah. Your, all right. Yeah, why don't we do that? If you make another lesson. I'll, I'll, um, all right. Yeah, yeah. If you, uh, why don't we just, um, uh, you know, I, I really, uh, don't like, um, uh, Lesson Face's platform. So is it cool if we just do it directly? Like just me and you straight up without Lesson Face? Yeah. Yeah, is that cool? So so you'll just email me directly. Yeah, yeah at MEPC36. So just th send uh, 35 bucks there, and then we can meet next Wednesday. All right. Uh, on PayPal. Um, I'll, uh, I'll send it on Friday because I don't have any money on me right now. Yeah, so I'll yeah no, that's true. On Friday. Okay, uh, cool. Do you, actually, do you actually have the cash app? Uh, I do not, and I've tried it, but my bank doesn't work with it. So, like, I can't. I have Venmo. Do you have Venmo? Um, I'll actually, um, I'll download it. I'm pretty sure I do because I can't use PayPal because I yeah. I fucked up with them and I owe them money, so they closed my account. So oh, okay. Uh, my Venmo is. Let me just get my name. I'm gonna right have here. to. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> yeah, here. That that's my Venmo. That that shit's really easy to set up though. Okay. 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 Cool. Well, just hit me with, hit me with that money, and I'll see you next Wednesday. All right. Sorry, man. I, it's just I gotta go. All right. Peace, dude. All right. Later. See ya. Later, dude. Thank you.